He told me to stay strong, but right now I'm the farthest from it. It's just, just want to go back to before. Grandpa? Oh, it's so good to see you again, sweetie. I slept in a to a giant bear hug. He was just laughing. He swung me around like an airplane. It was one of my favorite things about seeing my grandpa is the way he greeted me, unlike my father. My grandfather was loving and playful even I grew even as I grew older. Hmm. Sounds like her father doesn't love her as much as her grandfather. I'd be real sad. Hmm. I'd be the saddest person ever. Sorry that daddy couldn't come. Couldn't be here. Today, he said that he wasn't feeling too good. Again. It was always like that. Dad missed every visit to Grandpa's house, sitting that he was busy with work. Wasn't feeling well. Huh. Does, is there a problem with Grandpa and Dad's relationship? I wonder what. Is that so? Well, that's okay. Daddy can come around next time. And you're here, right? Hmm, yeah. So what are we doing today, Grandpa? Mommy said that there's a new dessert cafe open in town. Maybe we could go. I'm giving ice cream. A lot of ice cream. Oh, I would love to. But I've been so busy with the company these days. We're actually working on a little something. Would you like to see? Yeah! Ooh, is that a toy? It is. I was designing a new line of them. But I feel like something's missing. You don't think you could help me out, could you? Of course. What kid wouldn't want to help design a toy? They have all the fantastic ideas because they love toys. He placed the toy in my hand with a smile as I inspected it carefully. Inspected? <laughs> it was beautiful, crafted, and I have to say a lot of work was put into it. There was one thing, though. Inspected. What? How did she inspect? It. That just makes me think. There are many ways to inspect something. So, what do you think? Hmm, I think the heart on his chest should light up. When you hug it, it'll be like it's alive. And it can be a night light before you sleep. He stroked his chin, considering my input, while nodding his head after a few moments of silence. De Deliberation. He turned to me with a crackle. With a chuckle. That's a great idea. I'll get to changing it right away. You're always like my little lucky charm, dear. You always know what to add to make the perfect toy. What does he mean by lucky charm? <laughs> well, I hope you can I can be like you one day, Grandpa. You want to make toys as well? Hmm, well, making people happy is the best feeling in the world. I don't know if I want to make toys when I grow up though. Don't worry too much about it. You have plenty of time to decide. Besides, you should do what makes you happy as well. That makes sense. Daddy doesn't think it, of it is the same way, though. Your father. I'm sure he just wants the best for you. I'm not so sure about that. Sweetie, look at me. He bent down, looking at the eye level with a serious look on his face. As much as your father may say something that doesn't make sense now, you must remember that he's always thinking about you. He loves you. There's no doubt about that. And you need to love him just as equally. I don't hate Daddy. I really do love him. 
I don't know why he's like this, though. Your father and I have had some difficulties with each other in the past. But it's nothing that you should be concerned about. I had heard tidbits of the f from my mother and various other people. The other people had who had stayed quiet yet were my father and grandfather. Both of them refrained from saying a word on the subject matter. But it was clear that whatever happened set up a wall between them. What kind of wall? A brick wall? A cardboard wall? A wood wall? A box wall? What kind of wall? It's hard though, trying to pretend as if nothing were wrong. However, no matter what, you have to stay strong. You're a big girl already, and, well, there'll come a day when it seems like it's you against the world. But always remember that your family and friends will be here with you. Daddy, Mommy, your friends at school, me, we'll stand together to get through it. How can you be so sure of that? Because we'll be right here and here. Where is he pointing at? <laughs> there are several places to point at. You could get some weird thoughts on this. So stay strong. Which was a dial button. For a moment he looked almost sad, pleading, but a quick as it came, the expression disappeared from his face and he was all smiling once again. Promise. Upon hearing that, Grandpa let out a great burst of laughter and stood up. Alright then. Enough of that. How about I whip up some special homemade dessert? I know I can't accompany you at that new cafe. But we sure can talk and eat while I cook and do some paperwork. Homemade dessert? I'll race you to the kitchen. Hey, slow down there. I'm not what I used to be. <laughs> you willed me to be the very home I love to see you in. Why? Why would you think I would be ready to take it? Especially after the sugar, sugar virgin girl bubble with me. Quickly called it. There was no use in getting mad, especially when the person in question was no longer there. Sorry, it's hard to stay calm when you've left me with no so many questions, especially about what happened between you and Dad. <laughs> what am I doing talking to a grave? My vision blurred, and I saw her eyes. I was crying. Faith heated up, and tears rolled down my cheek. I'll bring you some flowers later. I, I miss you, Grandpa. I'll try my best to fulfill my promise. I gave you. Even the world might be turning against me. I left the grave, wiped my tears hastily so my parents wouldn't see. Well, it's time to head back home. I'll cook up your favorite lasagna when we get home, okay? Thanks, Mama. However, my dad didn't speak the entire drive home. I wanted to talk to him, but after this moment, you know, I wasn't sure it was a good idea. It's about time we took off those dreary black clothes. Gathering my courage, I decided that it was time to talk. Dad, could I ask you something? Go ahead. Why did you want me to move into that state so soon? I thought I made that rather clear. The college near your grandfather's house is well known for its business program. You are planning to major in business, yes? Right after you graduate from high school, you'll just live there and can easily commute to and from school. It's a perfect fit for you. But it's so sudden. You just decide so quickly right after the funeral. Uh, don't be so sensitive. If you're like that in the real world, you'll be crushed. I'm just saying that maybe you could talk a bit before more about my future. Aaron Pye, my father rubbed his temples and sighed quickly. After you graduate from college, you'll work at Anderson Family Toys. I have connections since I am part of the board of directors, so you will be guaranteed a spot. That is what we talked about before, yes? <laughs> but what if... Stop mumbling! But what if I don't want to work there? Don't be silly. It's the family company. Our company. I'm not just going to hand it over to some incompetent vice chairman. He came close to me and his face off and... Look, 
This is all for the best, okay? You may not know it right now, but you will appreciate it later. For some reason, when I heard him say something snapped to me, and I something say that something snapped to me, I went at stream. Exactly sure what it was, but it made me feel so angry. Do you even care that grandfather passed away? Of course I do. Well, everything seems fine and dandy to you. The things couldn't be better. Excuse me? I don't like your tone, young lady. It's like nothing even happened at all. Like, you just ignored the fact that he's no longer there. Do not raise your voice at me. What did he ever do to you to deserve this? My father, his face hardened, crossed arms, and erupted anger. <laughs> You sure place him upon a pedestal, like he's some kind of venerated god or something. It makes me sick. Is that it? Are you happy seeing Grandfather dead? Well, everyone was grieving. Were you holding yourself back from laughing? Is everyone's face? Did you feel just a bit happier seeing him die? Lie in that grave? See him lie in that grave? Yard. A flash of rage crossed his face and he whipped back his hand across my cheek. You don't know anything! Running your mouth like somehow you know everything that went on when you're just a little girl that doesn't know how to keep her mouth shut! You did not know my father! You did not know what he was capable of! Is everything alright? What happened? Nothing. I'm not hungry. I think I'll just go to my room. Honey? Quickly turned and ran stairs in the room, slammed the door behind me. My breath came in short pants, and for a while I just leaned against the door of my bedroom, eventually sliding down against it, down and sit against it. Well, that is it for now. Let's save and quit. And this is Hey Ho Fun Time reading to you. Seduce me, and I hope you enjoy. So I haven't posted.